Putin signs decree paving way for annexing Ukraine territories of Kyrgyzstan and Zaporizhia. Vladimir Putin has signed decree paving the way for the occupied Ukrainian regions of Kyrgyzstan and Zaporizhia to be formally annexed into Russia. On Friday, the Russian president is expected to sign into the law the annexation of four Ukrainian region, Kyrgyzstan, Zaporizhia, Donetsk and Luhansk, where Russia held fake referendum over the last week in order to claim a mandate for the territorial claims. Thursday night decree, made public by the Kremlin, said Putin had recognized Kyrgyzstan and Zaporizhia as an independent territory. This is an intermediary step needed before Putin can go ahead with plans to unilaterally declare on Friday that they are parts of Russia. In February, Putin recognized the independence of the self-proclaimed Republic of Donetsk and Lukans. The plan to sign treaties on Friday annexing territories in occupied Ukraine will mark a major escalation of Russian seven-month-old war. Putin has said he's ready to defend those territories using all available means, indicating he would be willing to resort to a nuclear strike in order to avert Ukraine's effort to liberate its sovereign territory. Putin is seen to be passing a point of no return what will prolong the war and scuttle even the remoteness chance of negotiation by obligating Russia to fight in pepper treaty for Ukrainian territory, some of which it does not currently control. The signing of treaties on the accession of territories into Russian Federation would take place at 3 p.m. local time in Kremlin St. George Hall. The government spokesperson Dmitry Peskov told reporters, the announcement set off a fresh round of international condemnation. Any decisions to proceed with an annexation of Donetsk, Luhansk, Kyrgyzstan, and Zaporizhia region of Ukraine would have no legal values and deserve to be condemned, the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres told reporters. Joe Biden said that the US would never recognize Russian claim on Ukraine's territory and denounced the fake referendum as an absolute shame, saying the result were manufactured by Moscow. Putin is raising the stake, said Tatiana Stanova, a political analyst and founder of Our Politic. It's a demonstration that Russia is not ready to negotiate, not ready to make any concessions, and is ready to use any means at his disposal to achieve its strategic goal. Including nuclear weapon, the Russian leadership has said this directly without any hesitation. The territories were not named formally, but Kremlin pool reporters said four treaties would be signed, corresponding to the four regions Russia has indicated it plans to annex. Putin is expected to make a speech to member of the state Duma, Russian's lower house of parliament, at the ceremony. By law, Russia Federation Council must approve the treaties before they are signed by Putin, but it was not clear when the council was scheduled to meet. Moscow officials have also begun preparing a venue for a major concert near Red Square on Friday evening. Together Forever reads a large banner hanging over the stage that also bear the names of the four Ukrainian region. State television channels are also displaying a countdown to Friday's event at the Kremlin. Putin's decisions has believed to be an attempt to halt a Ukrainian's counterattack that has forced Ukraine to retreat from much of Kharkiv region and is now threatening to retake more territory in Donetsk. He hoped that the threat of all-out war and nuclear retaliations will reduce Western support for Ukrainian offensive. Ukraine and its supporters have decreed Putin's threat as a nuclear blackmail in remark earlier this week, the Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky vowed to defend and free Ukrainians in the occupied territory. Ukraine's presidential office said Zelensky had spoke to his Polish counterparts Andras Duda on Thursday about the international reaction to Russia's illegal referendum. We discussed specific steps and measures that we will work out on this context military and defense cooperation, Zelensky wrote on Telegram. Zelensky also said he was convening an urgent meeting of the National Security Council on Friday, with detail to be announced later. 
The Kremlin does not have full control over many of the territories it is seeking to annex. It is likely will lay claim to all four Ukrainian regions in their entries, including several mid-sized cities that are not under Russian control. For instance, in the Zakoprizia region, local occupation officials claim that the recent referendum include the entire region, including the city of Zakoprizia, which had a prior population of 750,000. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.